I'm Wendy and welcome to my channel. Now normally my channel is about me working towards getting my farm but recently I've been absolutely captivated by the Chandrayaan 2 mission. But today I was left confused and disappointed and sad. But then in the aftermath of everybody else being left confused and disappointed and sad, I was left encouraged and proud. The Chandrayaan missions were announced by the Indian Prime Minister in his annual address in 2003. Chandrayaan 1 launched in 2008 with an orbiter and an impact lander. And the whole idea was to confirm that there was water ice on the moon. And so the orbiter took images as it orbited the moon. And these confirmed water ice at the poles. And then it took closer in images. And these absolutely confirmed that there was water ice on the moon. And then the impact lander as it plumes the dirt, it's able to analyse what's in the soil and the substrate of the moon and it also confirmed that there was water on the moon. So then we get to Chandrayaan 2. Now the planning for Chandrayaan 2 started before Chandrayaan 1 had even launched. So in 2007 Chandrayaan 2 was designed to be a joint venture between India and Russia. Now Russia was to provide the lander for the Chandrayaan 2 mission. However, the lander in the Russia-China mission failed in its early orbit. So it wasn't even in the landing phase, it was the early orbit. Now it was designed to head to Phobos, which is one of the moons of Mars. And so Russia continued to delay and delay and delay, and they just could not develop another lander. So they eventually withdrew in 2015. So between 2015 and 2019, India has developed the GSLV, the Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle, the Orbiter, the Lander, which is Vikram, and named after Vikram Sarabhai. And I will explain a bit more about him later. He's legendary. And the Rover Pragyan. And they did all of this with absolute precision in four years. Then we fast forward to the 21st of July. And T minus 56 and 23 seconds, I think I have that indelibly imprinted in my brain. The clock stopped. The moment it all went wrong for Isra in the early hours of this morning. And there was a glitch. And... We had to sit on the edge of our seats for a week. But then on the 28th of July, the launch happened. Four, three, two, one, zero. Well done, Israel. Well done. We were all on the edge of our seats and it, it was exhilarating. To watch the launch from Israel's space station. So the launch was successful and the first orbit was successful and then the third and the fourth and the fifth and each of these orbits had to be marginally bigger in order to actually get itself into the large orbit that would take it into the moon's orbit. And Dr. Shivan said himself that even 10 centimetres different, a 10 centimetre mistake would have the rocket head off into space somewhere. In order to show or demonstrate that there is water ice on the moon, 
the importance of the transnular injection accuracy or precision. Just I want to tell, out of 10.9 km per second, in case there is a dispersion of 10 cm per second velocity difference, that will end up with the, the orbital inclination of the at the moon will be away by 7 degree. If you are leaving as it is, the velocity will be the further build up and Chandra will escape from the earth and we may not get back the, the, the Chandra 2. Then it goes into the moon's orbit and it has to thrust with every orbit so that it makes lesser and lesser orbits and it gets down to about 30 kilometers above the, Earth, the moon's surface. And then it does a thing called rough braking. So this is designed to slow it down even further till it's about seven and a half kilometers above the surface of the moon. So once it's down to seven and a half kilometers above the surface of the moon, it then goes into altitude adjustment. And that will bring it down a bit more slightly to about five kilometers. And this is where four, sometimes five of the boosters are firing, slowing it down, getting the, the altitude correct. And then there's the fine braking section. Now we get to 2100 meters above the surface of the moon and we get nothing and the lander is traveling at a diagonal angle it's got 2100 meters to go but it's only a thousand meters up off the surface and it's traveling at 60 meters a second so it's got 35 seconds of travel time. That's not a lot of time. As I was watching, I was confused. I could see that the trajectory was slightly off, but it was still within the parameters. And then everything just stopped. So I scrambled through the internet, I looked at Twitter, I looked at Google, I looked at everything trying to find something and then I found an address by Dr. Shivan. Vikram lander descent was as planned and normal performance was observed oh. up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communications from the lander to ground station was lost. This took me a minute or two to digest. And then the Prime Minister left, and then the students left. I was really hoping that it was just a communication glitch. But it's most likely that the lander has crashed into the surface of the moon. But only time will tell. But I didn't want this to be a focus on the failures. That's just too easy to do and there's too many people on the internet doing that and I didn't want to be yet another keyboard warrior. What I did want to point out was the number of successes that this mission has had. The precision required at each step of the way is an absolute testament to the commitment of every person at ISRO. And even as the PM stated, this commitment extends to not only the employees of ISRO, but to their families and friends as well. But this mission steps off the shoulders of each mission that came before it. Something new learned and something new gained from every mission. From the very beginning of India's space program, from the first observational satellite in 1975 and then the second one in 1979, forestry and oceanography were forever changed. Rural management programs and fisheries now had real-time information. Vikram Sarabhai's quest for 
sciences to benefit everybody you know the the regular person in the street had become a reality sadly he passed away before being able to personally witness any of the space program in action but at the young age of 52 he left such an awesome legacy let me just give you a list of all of the things that he was either instrumental in or personally launched so we have the physical research laboratory the indian institute of management the community science center the darpan academy for performing arts and he started that with his wife the vikram sarabhai space center the space application center the faster breeding test reactor the variable energy cyclotron project the electronics corporation of india and the uranium corporation of india he was celebrated on the 12th of august this year on what would have been his 100th birthday the prime minister made an address to his honor Google did a Google Doodle to recognise his achievements. There is a crater in the Sea of Tranquility, yes, that's the one that looks like a cat, named after him. And there's now an award for journalism in the space sciences. Vikram Sarabhai set a standard and then paved the way for the ensuing 115 space missions of which 104 of these have been completely successful and sadly he didn't get to see any of these and you know once I learned this I really understood why Vikram needed to be on the moon, even if it was just his namesake. So ISRO and the whole of India has so much to be so very proud of and much to look forward to. And I've had such a wonderful response to my coverage of the Chandrayaan 2 launch and people suggested that I looked at the MOM, the Mars Orbiter. They encouraged me to look at the Sun mission, the human missions, all of these other missions. And I thought, you know what? This has got me so captivated that I think I will do a series on what I find out about the Indian space program. So let me in the, know in the comments if you're interested in watching me do a series like this. And welcome to the village, welcome to our community. This isn't just a channel, this is a community where people respect each other. And for all the new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't hit subscribe yet and you're not part of the village, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell and share the love. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.